I'm 3D printing a life-size Pokemon fossil. And so far, I have this giant jaw. And it's made of multiple pieces. So let's talk about different ways to join this. 3D gloop is a common one that you'll see with creators. And this stuff creates a chemical bond. So it melts the plastic together, actually fusing it to be one piece. But there's a problem. I'm using Polymaker High Temp PLA, which is a new formula. So I'm gonna have to do tests to see if it will fuse this material because there's different additives and things like that in this. So it's possible that PLA 3D Gloop won't work. Oh, and when you use this, please use a respirator and wear gloves. Or you can just use super glue. I have full prints like this that are just super glued together and they've been working fine. I've taken these to Comic-Con after Comic-Con. But a stronger option than super glue would be a two-part epoxy. But when you're doing a project that you're going to sand and paint and do finishing work, you might as well actually weld it together for a really strong bond. I use a soldering iron to PLA weld the materials together. It's simple and very strong. You drag a soldering iron on the seam and you fold the edges back and forth. This has worked really well for my big projects. And again, wear a respirator. 